Today's video is not about winemaking or about fig trees or garden tomatoes or for that matter not even English language learning. I make a lot of different kinds of videos. Today we're going to talk about the Santini tube and using it with a worm to go surf casting to catch stripers. I don't know much about factor fishing because I don't know what I don't know. But I do know what I do know and right now with the tide halfway out I know a couple of spots where the stripers are very active. The garden has been watered especially the fig trees. So let's get up on our bikes and pedal on to those spots and catch some stripers with a Santuni tube and worm by surf casting. This is the spot. And the other factors I look for are cormorants, but I don't see any working in the water today. But that doesn't mean the stripers aren't there. And my fellow winemaker, fishing fanatic, and friend Gerardo is with me, and he's on his way down to that spot. It's a little treacherous, so we gotta be careful when we go down there. But let's go catch a striper. So Gerardo is going to use a, come se chiama quella cosa? Anguilla, anguilla. In English, come si dice? Eels. Ah, ah, he's gonna use an eel. Also very effective with the Santini tube. And there's nothing like catching one on your first cast. So come on, Gerardo, catch on your first cast. I'm using the sea worm because I know they work. I've tried eels before. Stripers always take them off the hooks. As we say in Italian, chi cambia, bella ve chi cambia la vecchia per la nuova sa che lascia, non sa che trova. If the sea worms are big, I don't put a whole one on the hook. Half of one will do, but the hook has to always be covered with a worm. Stripers like it when a little bit of the worm is pending off the hook. You feel them hit it, then just leave it. They'll come back and hit it again. So the first cast was a strike, but couldn't land it on shore. So I think stripers should be called strikers, because actually what they do is they strike. They think the Santini tube is an eel. They smell the worm. You got to have a good worm that's bleeding. They smell that and they strike at it. And sometimes they strike well and sometimes they don't, but they can be pretty cagey. So I left a little bit of worm off the hook. The striper struck, but didn't eat it. So now I'm going to leave the first part of the worm dangling. I'm going to put a new piece of worm on and cover the hook. And I'm going to go back and catch that baby. What a beautiful spot. So for me, fishing, or should I say catching, is all about some skill, and in my opinion, lots of luck, and factors which I don't know all about. So my, my, my strategy is this. I go to my spot first, 10 casts. Um, when my friends come with me, I used to cast longer. If I don't catch anything, or if I'm only getting struck like today, then I go to my next spot. So come on, let's get on our bikes and pedal on to the foxhole. Yeah. Here we are at the foxhole, named by my nephew Nico, because one night years ago we came here and caught not only stripers but also bluefish, and we saw a fox on our way out. So Gerardo's on his way down, I'm going to join him, we're going to go to that rock right there, and we're going to cast out to that rock, that's where the stripers usually hang out, it's uh, September 2nd. The water is still somewhat warm. Stripers like to hang out at the bottom. And uh, we would too, if it were this hot. So you've got to be careful on these rocks. It's one of the things in life that needs to be respected. Uh, height, rocks, the ocean, women, and you need to be careful. 
stripers are making us work today. So I walked over to that spot because wind is blowing left to right. But I saw a couple, but I didn't can land in. What's nice about fishing with a Santini tube with worm is that you can see them following the tube. So I'm not much into catch and release. I'm more into catching steak. I don't even like catching filet because if you've watched some of my other videos, you know my background. And if my dad saw me catch a fish that size and fillet it, he'd say, God, quando peixes ti asprega. So I like to catch and steak. And if I see that they're small ones, I don't even bother catching. Looks like we're gonna have to work overtime today. I get the tubes at Fishing Fanatics in Everett, Massachusetts because that's where Peter Santini works and he's the person who came up with the patent for this tube. I prefer the orange one. I don't use the other colors. They come in a whole bunch of different colors. Today the water is a little turbulent so it's a little difficult to follow the tube all the way but that's no excuse. We should be catching, not fishing. So we pedaled on to the last spot for the day. And I hate it when people trash this area. I mean, what's the big deal? Enjoy your water and bring it with you, right? I don't get it. So we had to go out to this point right there. And a little treacherous to get there. We had to go through all these rocks. I don't like doing it alone anymore. At my age, I'm afraid to fall. So I'm really glad Gerardo was with me. Uh, I didn't bring the camera out there. Oh, I did, but I didn't use it because my focus is staying upright. Just want to thank Peter Santini for coming up with the Santini tube. Again, I get them at Fishing Fanatics in Everett. Peter really knows his craft. He really knows about fishing. He also speaks a nice Italian with a uh, Tuscan pronunciation. Great day fishing today. Gerardo and I got a lot of bike riding in, rock climbing, and we caught three stripers. Two non-keepers, one keeper just a little over 28 inches. As soon as I got home, I cleaned it, and I'm going to give it to these guys who've been working here since probably 7 o'clock this morning, and they're going to be here till 7.30 tonight. It kind of reminds me of my dad. Work, work, work. Dad was a construction worker, a mason. I used to work with him, made good money. but. He discouraged me from going into that trade. He said, you gotta go to school, and that's what I did. 